the welcome. I am Max Wolf, and tonight we are back here at Illusion. I'm on about two hours of sleep. There's quite a lot of cars here. Let's see how this goes. So let us start off here at the top of the car park. We have rainbow lights. You got to love it. How do we go? You know what it's like at Illusion. We have all the colours of the rainbow, and there's a lot more. There's a new one that's got more lights. Let us keep going down here. Got them turning up as they all come in. It's hopefully going to get a little busier, so it's a tad bit quieter compared to usual, but I don't think that's going to last too long. It always gets busy down here. But because we are now running two times a month, we get a Saturday and a Sunday meet. They're both different types, different sort of cars you get in each one, but both fantastic nights. So let us get to some of the Americans of the Chevy truck. you got to love this. If you don't like a Chevy truck, especially with a patina looking like this, I've got to partially question your taste in cars. To be fair, I can't talk. My taste in cars could be considered the worst on the planet, but who knows? Everyone's got their own tastes, but as I said, with Illusion, we get classics, we get moderns. There is a massive mix. We're trying for a 50-50 mix here, moderns and classics. Every month, more the merrier. Let's head down here. There's a lot of people up this end. I'll try and get into the section down here where at the moment it seems everyone's moved around so I can hopefully get some of the cars in down here. As we have the purple one. Check it out. You've got to love this. Purple wrap, purple underglow. It just looks the part, doesn't it? And we have Illusions reps here. Like I said, all colours of the rainbow. This is a colour meet tonight. We've got underglow, glowing cars, even Bling Beast is out with new underglow, which we'll get to. So compared to two weeks ago, it's a tad bit quieter than then, but we've still had a very busy night here. I think trying to top last the uh, one two weeks ago, we were nearly at a hundred cars, and that just goes to show how quickly and how fast this has grown. Because a hundred cars to fit in here, not an easy thing by any stretch of the imagination. And there's one car in particular, like I said, if you want bling, well, this is just insane. It is pink metal flake. It has sequins. It has the gullwit, not gullwit, it has the Lamborghini type style lifting doors. Let me get to the inside. This also blows bubbles, but it's not doing it at the moment, but it does blow bubbles. So check this out on the inside. Bling as anything. It has heart shaped steering wheel and lights in the back. More glitter on the inside. This hasn't got all the lights on. This gets even more bling than this. It is just absolutely incredible. And there is a bubbles. Even a heart shaped exhaust. You've got to love this. So we have Barbie and we have Bluey. We have the matching pair here. I think this needs some more bling. Where's the lights? They do have lights on this, not on this evening. But for a mini combo, that's just custom and cool. Liking it a lot. So let us move around to this one here. I actually am having a very much deja vu experience here. I was editing up the video two days ago for Illusion video two from the previous one. And again, Metal Flake Orange under here. I, I'm finding metal flake and glowing cars everywhere. It's starting to become a bit of a feature now. It's a bit different for me, because I always do the classic car meets. I don't get to exactly see the modified cars all that much. So a meet like this, it's definitely a bit out of my realm of usual cars, if you want to say. Now for some reason, the gimbal keeps trying to switch its angle, and I don't know why. As we have two more, make that three more, four more even, arriving here. Let us keep working our way around the car park, getting everything in. My 
knowledge on modern cars is terrible. So if I miss a car and you think, hey, you just walked past my car, it's not my fault. I literally don't know what these are. <laughs> I know stuff, particularly 1970 Superbirds. I could tell you about the most obscure Mopars and the most random American cars. Take it something modern, I lose every sense of knowledge. So now people have moved around down here a bit. Let us move down and show you the centre part of the show. We've got another illusion happening here. I love the holographic stickers. Considering I like the older cars, I do like the uh, hyped up ultra colourful stuff as well. If you've seen any of my photos, check out the Instagram and Facebook page, Max Wolf Media. I am on everything going. I do like the uh, very, very bright colours. As a comment to this Mercedes, which I didn't exactly feature uh, last month that much. And this is custom. I like this a lot. We've got a full airlift system in here. The rims on this are much nicer. It is an insane custom. So, we have the Nuka Cola Volkswagen here. We've got the Hoonigan... I don't know what this is, like mini? This is a bit of a kit, this is. Can I get it to see inside? So you can see in there, full road case system, exhaust coming out the back, suspension, fuel canisters. It's a shame, oh, the window is down this side. I'm pretty sure I've seen some footage of this one online, and this is a proper bit of kit, this is. Going round as there's even more to show off. Again, more rainbow underglow here. Don't think they have the lights on. These strips here do light up. I feel like I was saying there's going to be lights on cars tonight, and everyone's got the light switched off. As we're coming down to one of the Wilson Co. MGs, check them out. I'll post it up on the screen for all your car restoration mechanical needs. They're a good shop, they do good stuff. Check them out. Coming round to another one, I did remember the name of this. It is Reliance 7, I believe. I'm incredibly tired. I'm not exactly on full pace tonight, not at all. But the fact I'm actually even still going is a miracle in my eyes. We've been down to Essex today, hence why the Mopar's not here. I've been on the go non-stop today, only just finally stopped, and again, we're back on it. So let us come to the one I was saying, the Bling Beast, which cannot be out of So we have now got the new edition of Underglow underneath, which does change colors and syncs up to music, and I have a feeling I have magical powers. I have a feeling if I stand here long enough, this will start doing strange things. And no, I'm not editing this. I can do timing very well. As we have someone else down here filming. I'm not sure who this is. It'd be interesting to see their footage. I'll just move up the car park for a sec so they can get their footage in. As we come to one of the two Hemis, I don't think the other one's down here tonight. We normally have two of these, the black one and this silver one here. A big, massive, mega Mopar. We've got people running around. we got all of it going on tonight. So, let me get over and show you the big beast, because this thing is just metal flake craziness. As you can tell, it's got two videographers on it. It's getting the full treatment tonight. Everyone seems to love the Bling Beast. How can you not? We have got little flamingos on the inside as well. It's not really showing it on the camera, but there's a lot to this. I will, at some point, be giving this a full feature video because it's the Bling Beast. How can you not love it? So, let me shoot up round the back and I'll see if there's anything I have missed out as there's been a few cars coming and going as I've been moving around. I can imagine this is going to be probably a bit more jumbled up of a video than I normally do 
as I said, running on about two hours of sleep here, surprised I'm still standing. <sighs> We've got to do this. Everything that's going on, car mates, whatever. Sleep is for when, well, whenever. I don't need it tonight. I'll be fine. I'm not driving. And we have got the Audi over here, which was hovering around earlier. I thought it wasn't part of the show, but they have parked up and stayed here a while. So as you can see, even though we haven't packed out the cars tonight, we've still got a lot of people. And I think this may be the final one. As I said, I can't exactly remember. But I think I've done pretty much everything here, so I'm probably going to try and do some random stuff on the phone, try and do some experimental stuff, as this walk around is probably going to be a little quicker than the other ones, as, like I said, we're in slightly lower numbers than what we're usually at. I think that's just the fact that it's a Sunday, and it, well, I mean, yesterday it was raining like anything, so I think that sort of put a lot of people off, but, oh, here we go, this is, this is brightening up a bit. How about this? Official Fast X movie car. One with the green eyes. And we have, again, one with the green eyes. So maybe I should have started the walk around a bit later on, because we've got more turning up, but you gotta love this. Like I said, this me is the one that keeps on giving no matter what. As I was walking around, I noticed I didn't get this row in here, which I, I'm blaming this on tiredness today. Like I said, if you've been enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and give it a like. I am feeling this today. Custom cars are, well, I do like custom cars. If you know about a certain black car, you'll know that custom is something I actually do very much like. Even though I do like the original Mopars, things like that, you got to love custom cars. All of the work that goes into these just shows really the dedication people have to the car scene and how much love they have for their vehicles. It just goes to show. And a modern car I can name is the Toyota Glanzer here. Not a Volkswagen as I once said it was. Light Ace as well on the back. Let's get that in. I do like this little car. There you go. Yeah, something different. But like I said, the amount of dedication and time people put into their cars is really just what makes the scene what it is. But on the other side of that, the cars are great, but the people are better. If you want a chilled night where you have hundreds, literally hundreds, of friendly people, people that all are into the same thing as you, head down to Illusion because we always get a big turnout, loads of people, and it's always a good time. As you can tell I'm tired, my hat isn't even on straight. I have a feeling this video is dragging on a bit, so I'm gonna call it here. Hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. There'll probably be a part two to this video of stuff I filmed on the camera. We'll see how it goes, but till next time, see you all soon. Bye.